Prime Minister Ina Yun was briefed today by two government ministries on their plans for this year to create more jobs, better jobs, and raise incomes in line with the Moon administration's so called people centered policies. To put a number on it, a major goal is to get per capita income up to $30,000 a year. Kim Jian explains. Five government offices, including the Ministry of Employment and Labor and the Ministry of SMEs and Startups, have outlined their action plans for the year to Prime Minister Yi Na Gyeon. In a briefing Thursday, the officials said their focus will be on bolstering the government's growth initiatives to boost quality of life and achieve an income level of 30,000 U.S. dollars per capita. The ministry is also pledged to work toward increasing the number of small and medium-sized businesses to help create new jobs. We'll expand the $2.8 billion job creation fund for small businesses with 30 employees or less in order to reduce their burden from the government's minimum wage increase this year. Other steps include bridging the income and inequality gap between regular employees and subcontractors, increasing the number of quality jobs, and strengthening monitoring of employers to ensure they carry out this year's minimum wage increase. To do that, the Labor Ministry says it'll unveil a series of measures this year, including providing support to boost youth employment rates, as well as promote the use of paid maternity leave. The health ministry says it'll raise the monthly basic pension fund and increase support for those in the low-income bracket, the disabled and the elderly. The agriculture ministry says it aims to boost the number of jobs in the agricultural sector to 170,000 by 2022 through increased convergence with advanced IT and biotech, such as smart farms. The Oceans and Fisheries Ministry says it aims to boost the number of jobs and revitalize the country's shipping and shipbuilding industry through massive infrastructure policies to open up an era where annual income of fisheries households surpasses $46,700. Kim Jian, Arirang News.